Hi, this is Terry from Blogs by FlipDiva, and I am FlipDiva. Today I'm going to show you how to install a blog that you've received from a seller. Here on the left we have a folder called martinis.zip. It has a little zipper on it. We want to right click on it. I use 7-zip, you may use WinZip, and we want to extract it to a folder of the same name. Now, I've already done that, and it's right here, so let's take a little look inside. We have a wp-config file which holds the username and password for your database, which is right here. That's indicated by the .sql on the end. The .gz means it's zipped. We have the .htaccess folder which acts for, as a traffic cop for your WordPress installation. And you have a wp-content folder which contains your plugins, your theme files, all of your JPEGs, and everything that makes your blog your blog. Next, we're going to go log into our cPanel and install WordPress. Now we're going to go into the cPanel of our new domain. And you would log into that by typing in your domain name and then a backslash in cPanel, C-P-A-N-E-L. Or you might use your IP address, which would be provided to you by your host company. I happen to use HostGator, and I also, of course, recommend them. But the first thing you want to do is you want to install WordPress. So we're going to scroll down here to where we see Fantastico Deluxe. We're going to select WordPress, New Installation. And we want to make sure that we have our domain selected. Some of you might have an add-on domain account and so you would have to select the correct one and typically you're going to to install this in root now you want to enter the administrator username that you're going to be using and a password that you're going to use to log into WordPress and this is the nice name that displays on your posts and this is your email address in case you happen to forget your login credentials and your site name. And then click install WordPress. Finish. And if you want to send yourself an email of your installation details, go ahead and put in your email address here and click send email. Otherwise, just go back to WordPress. And then control panel. And at this point, you might want to go ahead and if you're going to have a, an admin um, email account for this domain, you might want to go ahead and add it in here at this time. Otherwise, you'll be going back later on to do that. Now we're going to import our database. And that sounds scarier than it really is. So we come down here to databases and we go into PHP My Admin. And we come over here on the left and we select our database. If you had an add on account, you'd have many databases down here, so you would have to make sure that you chose the correct one. Click on that, click on import, and then just browse to your database, and it is in Martinis, and it's right there. Open, and go. Import has been successfully finished, so that's great news. The next thing we want to do is go over here to WP Options. And we want to scroll down, and we need to change the site URL here because this is the original URL that this was installed on. So you click on the pencil, and this is simple. You just type it in. And then click Go. And you can change your blog name here. This will be shaken, not stirred. And that's all we have to change on page one. 
So now we're going to go to page two. We have two things here to change. We have the home, and this is where the blog actually considers its home. So we have to change that to its current domain. And one last thing we have to change in the database is right here. This upload path currently contains the seller's user ID. So we're going to change that to our user ID and click Go. And that's it. We're finished with this part. Now we're going to go upload our files. I use a free program called FileZilla because I'm PC based, but if you are using a Mac, you might want to download CyberDuck, also a free program. They're very simple to use. On FileZilla, all I need to do is type in my domain name, my username, my password, click on Quick Connect, and I simply browse to my root folder which is the www folder, unless you're using add-on domains, in which case it would be the actual domain name. Then on the local site, which is this site, I would browse to the folder that contains the files I want to upload, right-click on one, and upload. I want to upload my HT access, and I want to upload the entire contents of the WP content folder. Check right here, apply to current queue only, click OK, and this will take a minute or so to upload because it has, if you look down here, queued files at 380 now. OK, our upload is complete and now we're ready to go check our new blog. And there it is. And here we have our new blog. The first thing we have to do is log into the new blog and create ourselves as a new user. And we have to log in as the seller's user because obviously our user isn't there yet. So we're going to come right down here to Users. We're going to add a user. And put in your own email. Because this is the administrator's email for the entire blog. And then put in your password. And make sure you use a good strong one for this demonstration. I'm not doing that. And the most important part is make yourself an administrator. Please don't forget that part. And then simply add user. Now what we want to do is we want to log out and test our new user. So our new user is shaken and we'll put in our new password. And it worked. So we're in business. So what we want to do is go ahead and delete the user that was sent to us from the seller because we don't want the seller to be able to access this unless the seller has offered to provide support, which I usually do that. So you might want to leave me in there for a little bit if you've purchased your blog from me. So just click Delete. And you don't want to delete all posts. You want to attribute all posts and links to you now, which is your user ID, and confirm deletion. And now you're ready to visit your site. And go ahead and add in your AdSense or affiliate ads. Um, this is one of my sites, so this is how they come to you configured. Everything is completely widget ready. I use, normally I use the Flex Squeeze theme. 
I can take special requests for other themes if you prefer. You would want to go into your plugins and activate all your plugins, and you're ready to start blogging. And happy blogging. This is Terry from Blogs by Flip Diva.